What is up guys? In today's video we're going to be creating our very first app for iOS and this is going to be the infamous increment counter. So as you can see right here I have an emulator running on iPhone 13 and when we tap on it it's going to increment the number by one and we can do this for as many times as we want and it's as simple as that. So we are going to be using Xcode for this and I'm using Xcode version 13. So let's go ahead and start a new project in Xcode. So the first thing we have to do is go ahead and click on file and click on new project. And you're going to get a window similar to this one and you can also start this from the startup menu and just make sure you arrive to this template selector because we're going to be selecting the app and then we are going to click on next and let's give our product name a name of increment counter. Then we do not have to add a team at the moment, but you do need to specify an organization identifier. And usually this would be com dot your company name, but I don't have a website, so I'm just going to use Code Palace, or you can even use your own name. That is up to you. And we're going to be leaving the other two boxes unchecked since this app is far too simple to be using those details. Next, we will click on next and we have to also pick a location for our project. I'm going to leave it in my desktop and I'm going to create it right there. And as soon as I create it, we're going to get this mess over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is close this sidebar and kind of minimize the automatic preview, which we should click on resume so we can actually see what's happening. Because the default app you get is just a simple hello world app that just displays hello world to the screen. And for some reason we are running this on an iPod touch. So up here we're able to actually change the device we're running this on. And I'm going to go ahead and pick iPhone 13 since that's the generation we live in. So let's go ahead and click on resume and it's going to update it to an iPhone 13. But this is just a live preview, which means we cannot touch anything there. It's just going to display the changes we make inside our content view. But make sure you're also inside the content view because this is where we will be making changes to the code. So the first thing we're going to do in our content view is create a variable, which is actually going to be a state. And a state is going to allow us to change the content on the, on the screen. So variable count of type int is going to equal zero. And since we're not going to be using the sidebar, we can go ahead and minimize that. Next, we want to go ahead and create a V stack. And this is kind of like a layout that allows us to stack views such as text and buttons on top of each other in a linear line. So here we will go ahead and type in VS stack, open up a block, and we're just going to grab this text and paste it inside the V, the v stack. Now we also want to customize this text. And the first thing we're going to do is add a backslash and insert our count variable because this is what we want to display on the screen as we update it. And let's click on resume again. So now we have a simple zero. It's a bit small though. So let's go ahead and edit the font by specifying a font, which is going to be a system font. And inside here, we're just going to specify the size to be 40 and the weight to be of bold, so dot bold. So it's going to be a bit larger. Then directly under the text, we can go ahead and create a button and we're going to give it a title of tap me, exclamation mark. And we want to provide an action that increments the number each time we touch it. So inside here, we're going to open up a pair of curly brackets and inside there, we need to go ahead and refer to the count by typing self.count and we're going to increment it by one each time we tap on it. We're also going to print to the console that we tapped on it. So current tap backslash and insert the count inside there. And with that being done, we can go ahead and click on this play button to restart the emulator. And it might take a moment the first time you do it, but it says launching increment counter up in the taskbar and it's going to send us to the iPhone emulator. Then inside here, we can go ahead and test it by clicking on tap me. And as you can see, each time we tap on it, it increments the number by one and you can do this indefinitely. Also, another thing to keep in mind is that inside the console, we can see at all times the log that we created with the print statement. 
So everything we do there gets updated also down in here because we specified it right here on the print statement. But anyways, guys, that's actually all I wanted to cover in this video. We have successfully created our first iOS app, so good job on that. And in the next tutorials, we're just going to keep on diving deeper and deeper into creating more complex apps and features for our apps in Swift using Xcode. And have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.